I'ma need safety. Tell her I can't snake me. Ray gun on safety. My girl so tasty. Tell her it's your world. She want the two tone spaceship. Blow smoke screen daily. So the stress don't face me. I'm going. I keep it factual. I'm on sabbatical. I'm out in Central America. Oh my god, you're gorgeous. Yes, thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. Oh yes. my god, it's so beautiful out. I know, it's a beautiful day. Yes. Oh my gosh, Welcome. you're so gorgeous. <laughs> thank you, thank yes. you. Yeah, and I'm not even like done up. I'm just kind of the shower, I'm like flushing. Something, so this is like, small, but. Oh my gosh, no. It's, it's New York. Oh my gosh, it's nice. So yeah, clean. No. Did you clean up for me or something? Oh my gosh, it um, looks so beautiful in here. Well, yes, but I do know every morning, but I definitely, you know. You knew, you knew <laughs> it was going to be, yes, right yes. Oh, I love it in here. Oh, it's yeah, perfect size. It's it. cozy. This is actually one whole, like, apartment. And we still have, like, everything in half. Yes. And we just shut it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so this is it. And so you have your people come here now? Yes. And that's easy because yeah. you're right by the door, so no exactly. one like Exactly. It. It's perfect. You know, like, I mean, for me, I think this is a nice area. Yeah, it is, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's quite easy if the clients just, you know, just call me when you're outside. Mm -hmm. And then I walk out and right in here, shut the door. You know, Good we to go. do what we have to do. Yes. And then that's it. So, it's wonderful. I cannot believe we're here together. I know, finally. I know, we've been friends on TikTok for a little bit now. Yes, it's since what, since August? So yeah. I think is when I reached out. You found me on TikTok. Yeah. And you like the stuff. The second I saw it, I was just blown away because honestly, I was just so excited and just like, wow, he actually is portraying us in a good light, in a good view. That means so much. Oh, let me get make sure you're in totally in frame. I'm a little bit hungover since it was St. Patrick's Day, but I'm here. Wait, and so, we're good. <laughs> so you went out with the girls, you said? Yes. Did you, know. did you work last night too or not? Um, no, I didn't. Honestly, for the past like week or two, I've been doing a lot of like virtual content because I was sick. I tried to make some chicken. Oh no, and you're I got poisoning? Sick. Oh my gosh. So I just kind of say, you know, I'm not like available right now. Um, if you want like any virtual content. And honestly, I've been doing really good. I'm actually like Okay. <laughs> yes. Do you enjoy, do you you enjoy doing virtual content more than the actual Um, events? To be quite honest, virtual content, it's nice because, yeah, you can still be in your bed if you're sick or just, you know, private, but you definitely don't make as much as um, in actual, like, in-call. How do you find your clients? I belong to a website, one of the best out there. You would go online. You know, if anyone puts... TS by escorts or transgender escorts, whatever it is, as long as it's TS by escorts, it goes directly to where you can find me. My typical day, I try to wake up at 6 a.m., you know, shower, clean. I try to be available by 8 a.m., and that for me is I sign on to the website and it will actually show that I'm available. And people are looking at 8 a.m.? Yes. Are they up all I will night? Say, or? I have found out that there's hours to this also. There's um, guys who only want to come on the AM, guys who only want to come at lunchtime, guys who only want to come after work, Got and it. then guys who only come at like night, and then there's guys who come in that morning, night, who are drunk, you yes. know, guys who are crazy, which honestly, I don't work at those hours because... It can be a little sketchier. Yes, it's very, you know, you know. So over time, I've learned to have my own schedule and what works for me. You said you're 28? Yes, I'm 28. And you transitioned when you were 23? When I was 23. I am from Argentina. I did come from Argentina. Mm. I came here when I was about three or four. And I guess that's when my subconsciousness opened up. And I, yeah, I always knew. When you decided to, to come out as trans what how did your family react um honestly not good you know my parents found out that I was officially gay you know when I was about 16 my parents didn't take it you know um good and at that same time they got a divorce so everything is just going on and so I just moved out and you know and it was good at first but then you know as time went on you know Things happen, you know. Um, I found the love of my life and all that. Who is this love of your life? We actually met when 
when we were about 16. I actually caught a charge for him and I took the blame, you know, I took the it? charge. Um, what was it? Um, oh, it was just, we sold some jewelry to get some drugs and he used his ID, but because we look so similar, I took the charge. So you were getting into drugs with him, right? Yes. Is this, a, is that kind of your foray into drugs is with this boyfriend? Yeah, exactly. I, you know, ever since I was, I've never touched drugs. I was always, like you said, independent, you know, good girl working. I met this guy. It was the first love of my life. I fell in love. At that point, I found out he's doing coke and this and that, you know, and I'm like, sure, why not? And next thing you know, it we, um, he introduces me to um, Roxy, or um, the like oxycodone, oxycodone. So I'm like, sure, why not? So one day we sniffed it, and it honestly became the love of my life. I forgot about my bills, about who hated me, about my parents, about our relationship, about anything. So you know it, it's like we need money, steal some jewelry, jewelry use your ID, I'll take the fall. I go to rehab. And I'm like, you know what? I'm like, things need to change. I'm, I, I can't do this anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm choosing me. Mm -hmm. And I chose me. Good. I transitioned. And a year ago, he passed away. And I took that really hard. You know? Yeah. From drugs. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah. You know, but at the same time, I'm not too bad because I knew I had to ch choose me. You did. You did. Because I know if I didn't choose me, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't. So it's this weird, like, juxtaposition between you feeling guilty but also proud of yourself for um, making that and, change in your life. Yeah, and mind you, I'm in rehab and, like, he's coming to visit me and, like, He's not acting right. Oh my God, it was so hard. But I knew, I said, I need to choose me. Well, I am proud of you for doing that. And you should Thank be you. so proud of yourself. Now, here I am, I'm a woman. Like, this is the first time going out, presenting as a woman, you know? And I couldn't go back to the job that um, I had. And that's how you found the work that you're doing now. Yes, I was collecting unemployment and whatnot. And there just came a time where it was like, all right, well, that ran out. What are we going to do now? And then that's when my sister's like, well, let's start my escort. But now I'm reconnecting with my family and I love them. I'm on a transition, but how do I tell them? Because this is going to destroy them. Like, this isn't easy. I Like, you know, it's not. Because they had issues with being gay. So now to what's exactly. it going to be like? Exactly. Mm hmm. I remember it. It was like a Thursday evening outside in the dark in the parking lot. I called my mom and I'm like, hey, mom, you know, just want to let you know that I know you want me to be um, happy. You know, I'm clean now. I'm in rehab. Everything's going great. And I want to continue my happiness. And she's like, OK, well, you know, what's up? And then I'm like, well, I want to transition. You know, um, I contacted Planned Parenthood. And I have my appointment on Tuesday, and you know, and I'm gonna start um, estrogen, and you know, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And it just went silent. And then I'm like, hello. And then she's like, what? And then she's like, are you serious? And then I'm like, yeah. Mm hmm. I'm like, I know this isn't easy. You know, I know we just reconnected. I know, you know, I don't wanna lose you. I, you know? Mm. As time went on, and you know, we stopped talking. Oh my gosh. You know, and it's just so hard when it's like someone you've always admired and you always talk to. You, you know, I love my mom, I really do. Yeah. And she loves you. Yes, I mean, over the years, you know, we do, you know, we've. We've talked, like, to my sister, and we've video chatted through, like, my sister, you know, like, now everything's okay. Like, she's coming around. It did take a while. You know, she's definitely not there. So when you see her now, what is it like? 
Well, that's the thing. I haven't seen her in person. Yeah, she hasn't seen me since a week before I started my transition when I told her. You know, she cares. She loves me. You know, it's not that. You know, it's hard. And it's like, I completely understand. I think it's going to happen. I think it just, it's just taking her more time. But yeah. I think you when know, she sees you in person and sees how happy you are and how realized you are, it's like, how could she not feel like, this is what I want for my child? I mean, that's how I think. It's not easy. You know, nothing is easy. But if you want to reach your true happiness, you have to put yourself ahead. You have to put yourself in number one. All you have is you and you. Mm-hmm. And you just have to make yourself happy. It may look bad or whatever to anybody else. It may not be right. But one is right. One is wrong at the end of the day. And it is right. You're living in your authentic self. That's what I think. And it would just be nice to have family. Because that's all I want. Like, I really don't ask for much. I really don't. And I, so you told me that you're moving home. Yes. Is that to your mom's home? It's with a cousin. Is it where your mom lives? Um, no, it's actually um, a half an hour um, up north more. It's a nice house. It's beautiful. Like, this way I can get away. I can be with family. It's actually a good place to start more of my virtual content. Like OnlyFans and stuff like that? Right, exactly. So you want to stay in this sex business? Yes, I definitely do. One, because I'm not going to lie. I like it. I do. Good. Yeah, you enjoy I it. I definitely do. I definitely do. You know, it is it is good money. Do your cousins know that you'll be like doing this business out of their um, house? My plan is um, I'm going to come down on the weekends. You know, it's called, you know, when um, a girl goes on tour. Mm-hmm. So say I'm going to, you know, go on tour from Friday to Tuesday in Queens, you know, ta da 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 You just book a bunch of people during that weekend. Right, exactly. And then say from Monday to Thursday, I'll go back upstate, I'll relax. I'm actually kind of excited to kind of have that like half and half instead of being here where it's 27, you know, 24 7, just work, work, work. Sleep, yes. work. You know, at least this way. It would make a life work balance instead of just like work your whole life because that's not what life is about. Yes, and right now I need that. You are a strong person and you've persevered a lot. Everybody says that I'm very, um, there's um, a word. Resilient? Resilient. Yes, that no matter what, she's going to get it through. She may cry, she may fall, she may slip up, she may be a little late. She's going to get there and she's going to do it. And trust me, she's going to do it well. I really appreciate you sharing your story. And I hope that you find contact with your mom again in a very healthy way. And if you do, let me know and I'll update yes. the audience because yes. we'll be rooting for that. Yes. Um. Honestly, I really feel like that, you know, that this will definitely, like, help you now. Like, I do talk to my sister every day and she tells me, you know, I'm thinking of you. She will donate some clothes. Like, you know, like my mom shows. She definitely does. Those are know, olive branches in their, in their own way. Exactly. So, in time, and honestly, that's enough for me right now. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Amazing. <laughs> did you have fun? Yes, I did, okay. actually. Bye. Bye. All right. I will talk to you later. Bye. Bye.